is Jane Hayes Greenwood. Thank you. Hi. Um, I thought I'd just start by talking a little bit about my recent work, because probably most of you in the room don't know what kind of work I make. So my work is primarily concerned with objects, and I'm really interested in why people collect objects, um, why people create things, and particularly in what it means to collect things, what do those impulses reveal about us. Um, so this image behind us, so when I was asked to um, take part in these talks, the premise was to select one image and talk about um, something that had in, um, influenced the work. So I was thinking, well, you know, there's so many artists and so many writers and musicians that have influenced the work, but probably, or possibly the most interesting thing that I can talk about is um, the place that I grew up in. So this, yeah, just to talk about the image, because it might, I mean, it's very cluttered and might be a little bit unclear. Um, the images of my sitting room in 1998, this is my um, living room, and um, yeah, you might have been able to deduce by now that um, somebody in my family was an obsessive compulsive hoarder, so that is my mum, and um, at this particular point the hoarding was um, at its height, but she had actually taken quite a few things out of the room, so you could have, there's actually quite a lot of space here, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, there's not, there's not much room for a sofa and that kind of thing, um, but I just thought it might be useful for, for me to point out um, some of the things in the room. So this is a photocopier, so a broken photocopier there. Um, this is some kind of sideboard thing that she's found. You can see a guitar there. That is a billiards table that's been strapped to the ceiling. Um, this is a carpet that was being strapped to the ceiling for the point, um, it was being held there, stored there, um, for when the sitting room was cleared, because then the carpet was going to go down. Um, so yeah, obviously I could talk about this in, um, through a sort of pathological lens, but I think it's more interesting maybe to think about what's um, the obsessive compulsive hoarder and how they relate to things can... Um, can teach us something about our own relationships to things. So I think it was actually quite difficult living in this environment, as you can imagine. Especially because one day, my brother and I came back from um, visiting my dad's house and my mum had put hooks in our bedroom ceiling and we had a room full of wedding dresses and had little paths to our beds. So it was really mad, um, but I sort of, yeah, I suppose what I was about to say was that um, hierarchies of taste were sort of flattened out in this kind of environment. So what I've become interested in, and it's not like this anymore, so it's slightly easier to talk about now, um, is the fact that, um, yeah, it was really the use value, it was the kind of potential of objects that was kind of calling my mum to collect them. So there's something kind of... Um, There's a kind of political element to it, I suppose, which is interesting. Um, because usually we sort of define ourselves through the objects that we collect. You know, we, and we invite people into our homes and we ask them to look at the artworks that are on the wall and the objects that uh, we surround ourselves with. And that's kind of reflecting on who we are as people. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is quite a, a different thing because for her it was the potential of the object to be useful. So it wasn't really a dirty environment, but it was the fact that these things could be used for something, um, which is sort of, yeah, informed my work. So in my recent work, I've really been interested in object histories, so things that have been created um, for a specific reason and then used by different groups. Um, the works that I've been making are sort of focusing on archaeological objects. I'm interested in things that are then lost. So there's Because I sort of think about things um, as having a sort of psychoanalytic... I look through um, a psychoanalytic lens at certain points, so that idea of something being lost and then rediscovered and being brought back into the present is kind of um, useful for me in my work. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with this. But <laughs> I don't know if, if anyone has any questions. I don't know whether we're able to do that. But um, yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. <laughs>